Okay, so I know all of you remember when that first death cloud came from that steam pipe or whatever underground, you know, when you have the minigun and the power armor and you're just wrecking everybody, you know, you just came out from meeting the Minuteman and you jump down onto the street and you start raping all these raiders with your minigun. Yeah, I always wanted to know where that thing came from because it never really occurred to me where it did. But if you go down there, you go to a place called Concord Civic Access. And inside is actually not much if you're looking for, you know, like tools or a little bit of caps, some chems, like one or two stim packs, some rataways. There is a little in here. There's also two lunch boxes which contain random stuff. I guess all of the lunch boxes contain random stuff. But I, I like to collect the lunch boxes and just like display them, you know. But inside, there's actually not that many enemies. Probably like a couple rad roaches uh, right here, some mole rats. But there is one enemy, one enemy that will the strongest out of all of these, and it's just a soft shell mylark, and it's not even that hard to kill. You know, just a few well placed bullets, and boom, it's gone. But other than that, there are two or three locked chests it's just novice chests or whatever and they just contain like pipe pistols and like some ammo and, you know it's just some b beginner level stuff and it also contains one magazine and i was surprised because i did not think i would find a magazine in here you know just like very low level stuff so there's the monarch and then there's a raider it probably killed the raider and then you go in this little room right here and on the ground, there's going to be a Taboo Tattoo Bingo. magazine. And I think that the image in the front of the magazine is the image you'll get, like the tattoo you'll get. But we'll go check that out later. And on, as soon as you en exit that room, on top of it, like right on top of that raider, there's going to be a little ledge. All you have to do is like keep trying, keep jumping. It took me like two or three tries. And then there's just like some caps and more chems. And then down here, this is, I, I was really surprised to find this here. It's just a fusion core. Like right next to that vault tech lunchbox is just a fusion core. So, you know, if you ran out of your first fusion core like I did with my power armor, it's really annoying because it's like so slow. You have to walk everywhere. But it's a good place to get a fusion core if you need one. So I'm right here um, under the doctor in Diamond City. There's another guy. And for 100 caps, he'll, he'll change your face. And so let's check out this tattoo. You press square to go to extras, and the little menu pops up. And then there's all these little categories, and it's going to be on face tattoos. And I got the eagle from that magazine. Like I said, I thought the cover of the magazine shows you the eagle. But I think this tattoo, if you want to call it, just looks terrible. I mean, look at it. It looks like something out of a freaking coloring book. It's like... They're like, hey, dude, we need some tattoos for this game. And they're like, okay, this is what my son drew. Like, that's literally what it looks like. It's just really bad. Look at that. It's not even cool. Like, by tattoos, I thought he meant, you know, like, black ink or, like, green ink. And it's like, make a guy look like a total badass. But if I saw a guy with that tattoo, I'd be like, <laughs> what, what, like what do you got on your neck? That's how I'd be like, because it's terrible. I'd rather freaking have, like, I don't know, like a unicorn and at least entertain someone in that little crappy-ass eagle. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.